Hey GTI fans, welcome back to another episode of Imperium Galactic Survival. This is your host Zlot, and I am here on the Geek Tech Industries live server Alpha 7 edition. Uh, I believe this is episode 7. Now you can see I, I actually finished painting the and, and texturing the um, HV here. So I really like this texture of the, the scratched up paint job. I really I think it's it's cool looking. Um, it adds some character. It's better than just a shiny blob of metal. Uh, just, just thinking. Anyway, so painted up our colors, green and black, and there we go. There's the hover vehicle. I've parked the SVs in here, so you can see everything fit, no problem. Could even fit another small vehicle in here if we need to. Uh, so for starter CV, it, it's got a pretty decent bay, you know, like like nice. I mean, this isn't a tiny little HV by any means, and I could fit a couple of these in here. Um, and even I could probably fit. I mean, jiggy all right, and jiggy it all together, and probably fit a couple of big, big ones in there, plus those SVs too. So, not that bad for how cheap it was. Uh, overall, I'm really happy. Unfortunately, I did not realize how much capacitor devices were worth, and that's what I realize is what built. This CV, believe it or not, a stack, or not a full stack, but like oof, 70 or so capacitor devices we had looted. So we had a small pile, like really that's not that huge. Compared to, now I'm comparing it to Alpha 6 and 5, like capacitor devices were like, eh, just throw that in for some extra metal. And... This time around, I did that thinking it was extra metal, and poof! That's why we capped out over uh, our our limit on the Neo that we needed because each freaking capacitor device requires like twenty Neo ingots now. Twenty Neo. So you know we had. Uh, <laughs> You know, 70 of them. So do the math. I went over on what I needed just by throwing those in. Plus I had thrown in some flux coils and some power coils before that too. Um, and knowing that I would get the the Arrestrium and Zascosium back as ingots because that's part of the, the Alpha 7. You get all the... If, you, if it doesn't need out that type at all in your... Um, factory, it will spit out the other ingredients as ingots. So if it doesn't need that type of metal, uh, if it does need that type and you go over on it, well, you go over. And well, so I went over on my factory because of those <laughs> small stack of capacitor devices, which I hadn't realized were worth so freaking much. But those large drones were dropping them in like small stacks. And when we we're killing drones by the dozens, you know, it's like, so just looting the attack drones, the large attack drones, pretty much enabled me to build this CV is how it turned out. Because I was, I was really like confused on where all the Neo came from. I was like, what the, I can't figure it out, you know, and then I finally am like, oh. Capacitor device needs flux coil and oh and a whole bunch of neo for the advent for the os oh there's twenty neo crap so keep that in mind um large drones drop a lot of capacitor devices and can actually. <laughs> Bypass the need for an SV. Now, I don't see that that was intended by them. And we 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 were vigilant in farming 
getting all the bits from them when they when we killed them so um, so yeah you know it, it is what it is we ended up building a CV without even even really needing to go to orbit unfortunately uh, so we bypassed the whole staged game mechanic which I'm actually feeling a little bit down about but of course this was a way harder planet than anyone anticipated especially on hard mode with those large drones <laughs> and that's the reason why we're here right now is because of the large drones again the passenger devices that they were dropping uh, pretty much built this thing so I think they need to scale back the amount of stuff that capacitor devices should have in them potentially uh, maybe drop a couple of the advanced or not advanced CP oscillators off of them or uh, like drop the oscillator out of it as a as something that's needed it just whew, the, um, the flux coil is good enough they're gonna get sath you know like some sath and, and a little bit of neo from that alone out of the out of the capacitor knife so those looting those things from those drones was just I don't know it made it way too easy and this is hard mode so I'm a, I'm a little disappointed um, but again this is an alpha so we're testing it and I am giving feedback um, I'll be giving this is I just discovered this about the so I haven't given feedback about the uh, capacitor device yet but I, I think they need to remove it completely from the drones from all drones loot list if it's that pricey um, I mean yes power coils from space drones fine that's fine that was a thing before and it was a game mechanic that you could use and farm the drones to get enough to do stuff was was sort of viable too um, but not so much anymore because it costs so much more Arrestrium and Zascosium that a couple of power coils here and there is not going to make a difference and especially the Arrestrium with all the um, ammo that's needed for the high-end ammo now so so it's just the power coils are like meh okay uh, they're what the capacitor devices were before but a capacitor device to somebody on a starting planet is a CV like so that's got to be stopped <laughs> sorry guys but that was a big eye-opener for me too and I was like oh my god I just built a CV out of like a small stack of capacitor devices. Uh, uh, my brain kind of hurt there for a second when I realized that. And yeah, okay, let's not explore that anymore. We're just going to go with it. Um, we do have a couple of SVs anyway. So basically we just kind of, uh, we would have went up there. We would have mined some cobalt. We would have came down. We would have... <laughs> <laughs> we would have uh, done all these things and yeah okay if you really want to see the progress like I said before you can look it up on my alpha 7 experimental series and that'll be the end of that conversation about that let's move on now unfortunately Sheeny and Stickus, I fear for them now. They have went AWOL for days, and I fear them dead. So, and with with a with a heavy heart, I'm going to leave the planet and take all their stuff with me. Now the reason why I'm taking everything is because I gotta wipe the planet playfield and I'm gonna be adding P 
can tax it. Well, I, I have already to the ammo, but I gotta wipe the play field and the template for it to pick it up again. Um, but I've added 14 pentaxid ore to each of the wreckage on this planet. So that means everyone that goes to a wreckage and successfully opens the personal, you know, loots the, the cargo box, will get 14 of the ore, which can be refined into 28 refined pentaxid. So uh, that's like a round trip ticket to Ningas per per person per uh, wreckage and there's like eight or nine of them on the planet so it's plenty I mean I think just getting the Ningas alone is going to be fine so um, what do I got in it right now I've got my 31 31 because I I right I have not put in the other and I've the rest of it. I've looted two of those wreckages, so I gave myself 28, and I ground up the first 14, and I'd looted a couple of refined ones from POIs, so I'm up to 31 there. So I still got another 14 pentaxid, technically, if I'm following my own rules, and I'll, I can give that to myself later, but in the meantime, we've got enough right now to take off. Uh, I've, I've multi-tooled down the base as much as I want to at this point, because I've still... I actually put it in the cargo box here. Let's take a look. Going to block. So I've got... 201 armored concrete blocks. 453 concrete blocks. A whole bunch of growing plots for bases. So the other, the 48, and then uh, 18 of the steel growing plots for CVs, and just stuff that I tore down off the base and threw into the CV here that, that I didn't need to actually install into the CV. So this is just extra stuff in here that I didn't install in the CV because all the rest of the stuff from the base is here <laughs> as equipment that's the cool thing about bases and capital vessels is they can interchange equipment which is really cool on most things except for weaponry and uh, a couple other things I forget so let's take off there's no more we don't need to tarry any longer Let's check out our map here. So I think what we can do is we're probably going to go to Ningas because I don't know about Zahines or Alien Outposts. So I want to do N Ningas because it's only 14. That's feasible for a SV. So we're going to we're going to duplicate the track to what an SV would have to do to try and get some Neo. So we're going to do that. So let's take off here. Oh, I should have put a switch in at the back door. That's okay. I just switch this off really quick and then I'll turn it back on. That'll <laughs> close all the doors in the place. <sighs> okay. And then I'll turn my engines on and we're off so we're full of oxygen we've got a fairly decent amount of ammo uh, we're full of fuel and we're ready to rock and roll let's take a oh crap no you know what we are not ready to rock and roll because look at how pitch black it is and i can't see squat so let's go back in and we're just going to shit our engines off really quick here because i have right here these spotlights I was going to be putting on so that I can freaking see. So we're going to do that. I'm just going to jump out really quick and drone it up. And we're just going to go and put these on. <laughs> I mean, I got no windows, but I still need lights, okay? I'm not completely blind. Uh, where should I put some? <laughs> Let's uh, 
We could go. Hmm. Let's do one there for now. And then we should put some more yeah up along the side here. That'll be good there. And there. Okay. That's better. I mean, that's something. Gives me something. It's kind of... I should have put the lights out here. Actually, I will. Because... Did that help at all? Hmm. Not really. Okay, so... You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to... I'm just going to pop these off for a second here. And... I'm going to do the angled one right up the front here. Yeah. So, so the sloping one, no, I want the horizontal. And we're going to flip this. Oops. This way. And we'll see if we can get it showing straight in front of us. Uh, I don't think that one is. I think it's shooting like straight up. Let's see. I can't really tell. Because you don't get blinded by spotlights in the game. So you can't, you, it, it doesn't reflect in your eyes the same. You just can't tell. It's funny. Um, hmm. I don't see it ref shining on the water at all. And I think it should be if it was going straight. It, it should show. It should. Let's, let's try rotating it. So we're going to do the change and rotate. So if we do like a one, two, and then switch this halfway, one, that should have rotated it. And I think it did, right? I think it's a little, is it? No, I'm not sure. I'd have to be up to like a asteroid or something. Yeah. Okay. So, you know what? On here, I'm going to put a couple of these angled ones. Because then at least I know I'll get a wide array. See, that's pretty good. And then... I mean, I guess I could... Um, I'll just put this one on anyway for now. It might help for mining eventually. And, well, even hand mining from the CV. Okay. That's good. Let's go. <clears throat> okay. Turn our engines back on. And we're ready to rock and roll. So we just got to get out into orbit here first. This thing's not very fast. It's kind of a slug. It doesn't have that. Uh, it doesn't have a ton of thrusters. Six in every direction of the small single block thrusters. But that's what makes it so cheap to spawn. Oh, 
Okay, so we're out in orbit. It's got a ring. <coughs> okay, so you can see I've already been out into orbit with the CV to test it out, and I marked a bunch of uh, ore deposits. Um, I also actually mined some cobalt while I was up here. And uh, so I actually <laughs> have, let's see, I, where was it, was I putting it in here? So I got a stack and a bit in there and I think I got another, f yeah, and there's, an, that would turn into another full stack. So, and that, okay, so we've got, yeah. So two, three, and then I got another, so four, 4,000 cobalt ingots or so, I think we have equivalent right now that will get eaten eaten up pretty quick though uh believe it or not ammo will eat that up really quick once i get to the higher ammo the uh all the missiles for hv which is pretty quick here actually <laughs> now i think about it okay uh, uh so i think we're okay on cobalt right now we don't really need to stop and mine that and i I've, I've marked I found everything over on the other side of the ring. Uh, shot down some some uh, drones too with the mini with the mini guns that are uh, mounted onto the CV here. So anyway, I think we can just skip the exploration of space with the CV right now. Uh, and what I'm talking about space is just right here, right now. This initial portion we don't need to actually fly around i don't think so you guys have probably seen lots of people fly around in this game through a space ring in a starter planet where there's minimal danger and you know a couple of drones that's really all there was up here it wasn't that big of a deal i did see a cv floating around and i just stayed away from it because i'm not really into combat with anything other than a couple of drones is fine, but so let's go into our map and we're going to target lock <laughs> Ningas. We're going to lock target. Oh, we had it locked. Okay. Well, why wasn't it? Didn't I, did I see it? Did I, hmm. uh, I don't see the orange. Oh, you know what? Cause I'm a derp. Oh my goodness. Here we go. <laughs> I had all the labels turned off. Okay. So there's Ningas on the other side. We got to get up to a certain speed. And this thing takes a bit. So we got to get a trajectory. Okay. We should be good there. And 80. No problem. We can warp. So we're warping to Ningas. Woo. Okay, so let's check out really quick what it's got here. It's got copper, cobalt, neo, sathium, promethium, and magnesium. Woo! It's got some of the big boys. Uh, so it's got the good stuff to make even a better, bigger CV. What about the planet? Iron, promethium, silicone, cobalt. Doesn't have copper, it has sathium. Doesn't have copper, isn't that interesting? Did it have copper out in orbit here? Yes, it did. Okay. So this sector that Ningas is in has all the basic needs met. Huh. But you gotta go to space for the copper. That's interesting. It's got Promethium, Neo, and Sath as depletion meteorites. Might be a good place to make a base. Uh, but there's a CV, there's a planetary vessel that would regenerate and respawn all the time <laughs> with the platform. Meh. <clears throat> you know what? Let's Let's just keep exploring here. So now... Uh, we know what's here. We've got, there's good stuff here. Wow. 
I think we should maybe take a look at Akua because we can keep going here. We've got enough to get to Akua. See, that's another 15. Uh, because there's no, we would have to land and take a look to see if there's any pent to pick. But I know for a fact that Akua's got a moon. So I think I'm just going to skip right ahead and go to Akua. And that target. I know it doesn't have all the Neo and stuff, but it's got Pent. And we can actually pick up the Pent in a, at Akua way faster than Ninga's, I think, and way safer. So safe and fast compared to slow and and difficult. I'll take the safe and fast. Okay, here we are at Akua. So, this is one of the other starting planets, kind of the 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 brother planet or sister planet, if you want to call it, to um, to Talador, really. And, <clears throat> excuse me, so it's got a moon. Let's check out what it's got here. Uh, what? Hang on. That didn't update, did it? So, a cool orbit. Yeah, okay, Sath, Neo, Prometheum. Uh, wait. Sath, Neo, Prometheum? I thought they removed it. Uh, did I not? Okay. Oh, but they have pentaxid meteorites on the moon. Wow. And pentaxid deposits. So we got to go to the moon and mine pentaxid. Uh, okay. So Akua itself, iron, copper, silicon, promethium. But you only got to go into orbit for Neo. Hmm. Why doesn't... I, I thought I looked through this and I thought it was like cobalt and the rest of the lower stuff. I wonder if this is not showing correctly. <sighs> huh. I never got to do a good, a good playthrough on the default scenario stuff <laughs> I just went and really checked out my stuff really close to see if it was or closer to see if it was working in, in Alpha 7 <sighs> okay well that's not really that staged either then is it you're just going to, to space and then you can so you don't even need a warp capable SV and you can build a Okay, well, uh, I guess we're going to the moon then. We're going to the moon and getting pentaxid. So let's find the moon. It's behind Akua. Is it behind Akua? Yeah, I think it's behind Akua. I really want to encounter any of the, uh, I don't want to encounter the, the aircraft carrier, or the, uh, drone carrier, I should say, aircraft carrier. I don't want to encounter the drone carrier because that could be a bad day for me. Because those things have turrets on them that would hurt me bad. I just want to bypass everything and get around to the moon. Oh, and right, you can take your brake, auto brake off with I. So I'm going to do that and then I'll just kind of aim to where I want to go. And I'll take my finger off the gas and you can see now my power left just cranked right up and I'm still floating along fairly quickly. I can even 
kind of rotate around and look and my my momentum stays. I keep going the same direction that I was. That's <laughs> kind of cool, eh? Da, 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 da. Just drifting along. Drifting along. Now, it really sucks when you forget to turn your braking back on. <laughs> it's really hard to control. Basically, there is no control. Okay, so there's the moon there. I don't see any POIs or anything. Let's start heading towards the moon now. So it's kind of it's kind of cool that they added that feature before doing that I was going in and gro grouping groping grouping my front facing thrusters and I was putting them into a different group that I could switch off independently So this is much easier now and cooler anyway, because you can kind of turn around and watch, and you just keep drifting in the same direction. So, um, is that a resource asteroid coming up? Oh, there's a CV. Let's turn our brakes back on so that we can boogie over to this side. Yeah, that is a resource asteroid. That is... Oh, and we've got the CV's buddy over there. We'll just keep our guns pointed at him as we drift sideways. Although I do want to mark that. coming at us? Is he coming at us? I think he is. Yep, he's coming at us. So, he'll start shooting pretty soon. I'll start shooting. We'll all start shooting and somebody's gonna die. And it was him. get really close like that and I don't see anything else I don't see any red arrows on my screen anywhere on the edges of my screen so I am going to jump out of the cockpit and then oops turn my jetpack on I don't have a gravity generator on this ship but I don't really need it it's a small ship and I can just get around anyway um, I drone it up, take my drone out through the hatch. Oops, come on. And nice, nice, nice. Ooh, look at all that. Juicy. Wow, C4. Like, oh my god, these capacitor devices. <laughs> like, you know how much loot that, that was just worth? It was crazy. That's really actually kind of crazy. Okay. I personally think they should cut back on the loot on the drones in general. Especially how valuable the loot is nowadays, or just make everything else just even more harder to craft than I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what the balance is. Where do you find that balance? Right? 
where's the tipping point where people will play it because it starts getting a little too difficult and a little too grindy. So, now that looks like the, no, it's not. That's moving. Oh, if it's moving, I want to move the other way from it. Let's go over to this side here. We'll go to the dark side of the moon. thing, a uh, new change with Alpha 7 is the Emergency O2, the little bottles that it creates, can actually be used to fill large O2 bottles now, or O2 um, um, containers. So like on a base and ship, you can actually fill up your bases and, sh and ships with uh, those little bottles now. Whoa. And what is going on? I... There are... Oh, 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 There is a POI right there. I don't want to land on a POI. Yeah, getting a little bit... Oh, yeah, there's... The drone base? I came down on top of the drone base? Are you kidding me? Holy crap. You gotta be kidding me. Let's, uh... <laughs> <laughs> really? That's why as soon as I start breaking into atmosphere, I break. I literally hover and I do not go down anymore. Because that is the type of craziness that happens to me. Is you, you enter exactly on top of the drone base. Wow. glitch with the squares there sorry um, as I get closer it'll disappear but so iron it's kind of weird that the that it seems like there's no I think it's it's kind not sure what's going on to tell you the truth. And there's another base over there. So that looks all glowy and scary. Yeah, that's a shooty shooty base. Look at the uh, turret on it. So we're gonna go over this way. Pentaxin, that's what we're looking for. Okay, so where is that? Really? Over at the shooty base? Or no, it's right below me? Wait, where? Why? Hmm, I think it is at the shooty base. It's just, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I can't get to that. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I see something glowing down there, but the map is not updating. Or is that Pentaxid? That might be just Pentaxid. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I'm seen very many Pentaxic crystals at all. To tell you the truth. One, I think it's I think it's just because there's Pentaxic deposits now that whoa! Whoa! What is going on here? 
something was kicking up at my... That was bizarre. Okay, so... Uh, <laughs> the ground, like... It's like... So it's all kind of... You know what I need to do? I need to... Unfortunately... I need to land... And... Turn the game off and back on. And so, on that note... What I'll be doing is... I'll be shutting the server down, wiping that the Cal Talador playfield so that um, it gets the new content that I added in the the Pentaxid into each wreckage, and then we'll carry on from there. So I think we're gonna call it an episode here because this video problem is starting to actually be a problem, and. take care of itself obviously and I know there's not going to be any capital ship here so not that big of a deal and I can take the HV out onto the moon and mine that's not a bad idea and my bay door did not close that's interesting did it why didn't it close see now it did hmm I don't know <laughs> I got nothing Okay, uh, well, Ooh, that's bright. I guess what I'll do off camera is I'm going to find Pentaxid and mine it so that we have some Pentaxid to go keep exploring with. So guys, until next time, I will be on the moon, on Akua, trying to get some Pentaxid. Well, guys, if you like this episode, like and subscribe. Um, next episode, I will hopefully have some more Pentaxid for us to go warp to somewhere else and, and see if maybe we can um, find somewhere suitable for to build a real base, a permanent base. I think that would be good, but I'm not going to be building a, any huge base. It's just going to be a pad to build stuff on, really, with a with a shack with all the gear in it, really. You know, maybe I'll throw a forge and do find a good mining planet. So yeah, that, I think that's what's on the agenda now. We're we're going to be looking for a home, looking for a home to build better gear on. Because the starting gear just ain't going to cut it. Well, guys, I'm going to let you go from here. You guys have yourselves an awesome day.